And Khan, your Mason got it. I thought it was basically broken English. <laughs> it's got its own grammatical rules. Like what? You wouldn't say, who's that fat man? You'd say, fat man, who? <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious. It's like oddly hysterical, but yet it's incredibly touching. There's never a dull moment. It's kind of revolutionary and and it brings you into a world that we haven't really seen on stage before. I was thinking about how we all want to belong and you know, we don't always feel like we do belong and that there's something primal about the family, the way that we we have crazy rules and crazy ways of talking and even down to how we eat our food within a family, you sort of learn from your parents and, and that there's something tribal about that and very basic. Honestly, I read the script for the first time and I just did not understand it. The second time I read it, I was really fascinated because it's the humor of the show, all the different funny parts. Anybody, anytime anybody puts a family around a dinner table, people say, that's my family up there. Doesn't matter that they're British, doesn't matter what they do, one of the children is deaf, doesn't matter. It's about being a sibling, it's about being a parent, it's about being in a relationship, it's about being grown cut up with, it's about making mistakes. It's a story of people who are not perfect and they love each other very much and they've made a lot of mistakes and they are fierce. I think we all had these moments when we were young of going crazy and uh, behaving badly. Um, really kind of spoke to me. Whether or not you have someone in your family who's deaf or hearing impaired, I hope it's the need to communicate and the need to be heard and the need to listen. We can go years and years and years without standing up for ourselves and saying, no, I, I need to be heard in my own language. It is a gorgeous play. Get your bottoms to the Mark Taper Forum.